Having a written legal will is important, but more than half of Aussie adults don't have one. Vision has entered into a partnership with SafeWill, a leading online will writing platform to provide you with an easier and more affordable way to write or update your will. As part of the Vision family, we want you to know about a way that you can write your will for free. Start the process now and complete it at no cost during Leave a Legacy Week from February 26 to March 3rd. See all the details at vision.org.au slash legacy. A biblical perspective on life, culture and current events. This is 2020 on Vision. Let's turn our attention to a very significant issue that can affect the entire Christian church and certainly the Christian charity sector. Australia has a system that allows charities to offer tax-deductible giving. And the federal government is moving to review the ability of particularly school building funds who could lose their deductible gift status. Well, it's challenging because it's not just schools, but a number of elements that support religious education. Murray Norman is the CEO of Better Balanced Futures. Back with us, Murray, a special welcome back to 2020. Great to be with you, Neil. Murray, let's just talk about DGR, deductible gift recipients. Uh, For listeners who might not be so familiar with how this national system of ours works, how do you describe it? Uh, Basically... Uh, the government set up a system that uh, certain charities uh, have uh, tax deductible gift recipient, which means you can get a tax deduction for donating towards certain charities. So there's certain charities that are recognised that the government has provided tax deductibility for. So it just means that as you earn money that you can get a tax deduction, which is which is quite helpful, which is really good for those uh, charities. And uh, a number of ministries have that uh opportunity and it's really helpful to them like uh, school building funds and also uh, religious education like RI in Queensland and special religious education in New South Wales. So if there is a review that's happening now, uh, it's school building funds that are really uh, targeted at this particular point. Uh, No doubt there'll be ongoing effects there too, but how do you see what the focus is on school building funds? So basically, uh, a review has happened and the Productivity Commission has put forward uh, things that they think should be uh, included and those things that should be taken away as part of uh, trying to increase uh, philanthropy by 2030 and volunteerism. So they've suggested a number of things that can be included, a number of things that can be taken away. It happens the two things that they're looking to uh, take away is uh, faith-based school building funds. So that would include um, not just Christian, but all faith-based, uh, Muslim, Jewish, uh, school-based building funds, and also religious education uh, in schools. So volunteers going into schools, uh, no longer will you be able to get a tax deduction for supporting the curriculums they use and the training and the support that they get. So this has come out in the Productivity Commission, and we're asking that your listeners and Christians would, one, first pray Uh, that we might be able to speak up. We have an opportunity and the Productivity Commission wants to hear our voice and we've set up a website that you can actually go to and that you as someone from the community can actually say to the government, say to the Productivity Commission, that we think it's really important that people of faith, that Christians can provide to their local school to help with buildings or religious education to help students in schools to be able to hear about their faith and that we can get a tax deduction for the materials and the training that we're giving teachers. So we've got that set up and it's at mediaarts.org.au and we're really keen for listeners to help us there and just put their comments and give feedback to the government. Just reflecting on this for a moment, uh, because my suspicion is a lot of people don't realise just how significant religious education teachers are. And uh, when there are more than 10,000 volunteers every week, uh, they'll be also on that receiving end. And uh, maybe there are listeners who are tuned into our conversation today who might fit into that same category. What's a concern here when we talk about uh, schools and religious education classes is that it appears, Murray, and I'll get your thoughts here, it appears to be that there is a targeted group and it's P 
people who are associated with religion who are the target of the sorts of reforms we're hearing about. Thoughts from you here? So the Productivity Commission has definitely highlighted two areas, uh, faith-based uh, building funds where uh, parents, grandparents, community members can give to schools to help build uh, skill buildings at, at schools. My uh, children go to a Christian school and at our school we have a, a building fund that people can give to. We've just done building at school. It is a great blessing for people uh, to be able to provide for that and it means we've got new new labs, new libraries, a whole lot of new facilities that the community's been able to put in and, and help. Um, there is government assistance. Uh, we do pay school fees, but this helps to get better facilities. And it also means that it saves the government money because the community is actually investing into their local school that they love. And it's the same with religious education. We've got volunteers going into schools uh, every day of the week during school time. They're teaching young people uh, about faith and they need high quality curriculums, they need training and they need support, without tax deductibility, uh, it will decimate. Uh, it'll um, just take heaps of funds away from that really important ministry. And we want to put our best foot forward, be doing a professional job and making sure that young people have the best uh, opportunity to learn about faith. And tax deductibility is one of the key ways that uh, a lot of our, our churches and groups working to provide those materials can afford to conduct this ministry into the uh, future with thousands of people each week going in and teaching. I've had conversations of uh, recent times about how Christian schools are bursting at the seams. In fact, there's a need for expansion, uh, more schools, more buildings. So when you've got this possibility of actually having this uh, DGR status removed, uh, is this something, do you think, could be even designed to slow down the growth of Christian schools? Is there a conspiracy somewhere in there? I do think that the, uh, that the government gets in a lot of requests. Like, there are requests with the Productivity Commission to look at tax deductibility for animal welfare, a whole lot of other things. So they are looking at good things in there. But the thing that we're keen to say to them is that people of faith are very generous. They're keen to give. They're keen to see things work in our community uh, for community good. As Christians, we're keen to have eternal impact. We want to see um, our funds used for God's glory. And part of that is us being generous. So whether that's to school building funds, whether that's to religious education, we have the opportunity to help our community. And if we're looking to double philanthropy uh, by 2030 and volunteerism, that's two places where a lot of people volunteer and help out. And uh, the Christian community is 90% of most of the work that the faith communities are doing in Australia. And these are two really important places where volunteerism, uh, generosity is happening. And we want to make sure that happens. And that's why it's so important that we let the government uh, know. And I say again, if you go to mediaarts.org.au, you can go in and you can put comments and tell the government how important it is uh, that we have uh, these things put forward. And I just note in New South Wales, we have an ethics program at the same time as special religious education, uh, where we teach across all the faiths. So my we wife teaches Christian religious education each week. Um, the ethics course won't be touched by this. So we do find some inconsistencies, and that's some of the things that we're saying to government. There's an ethics course teaching young people about ethics, and at the same time, we teach uh, Christian SRE, under the current proposal, we won't be able to get tax deductibility, but the ethics course will. And what we're saying is we just want uh, there to be transparency, fairness across the system, and we want to make our voice heard that we can get tax deductibility to be able to see these good things go forward. There might be another conversation around a comparison between outcomes from just doing an ethics course and those who are participating in religious education, but we can't overlook the benefits of religious education. Murray, how do you describe just how valuable this is uh, for children coming through school? I go to church every week. Our church is 100% committed to religious education. <clears throat> My wife's one of the teachers that goes across and teach we're looking to provide young people with hope. Parents send their uh, children along to those classes to hear about hope. Uh, Rach, my wife, teaches every week about the hope of Jesus and how young people uh, can know Jesus and they can have a better life. So in these classes, we're teaching people about hope. 
we see in the world uh, so much pain and destruction. Young people need hope. They need to know that their future is secure and that can be found in Jesus. So we have an awesome opportunity to go in and teach. Uh, young people uh, hear about the hope of Jesus. Uh, they hear about how to live uh, a, a life, a good life uh, that seeks to um, come to know uh, Christianity and then be able to process that through for themselves and think about how am I going to live my life? What values am I going to have? What things am I going to hold important? You know, who is God? Uh, how can I know him? Is he true? Uh, you know, what about eternal life? So all those questions can be asked and that's what we're doing, helping young people process those questions and make decisions for themselves as young adults as they grow up. Let's talk some inconsistencies for a moment here, because while changing those laws around DGR uh, would affect the giving that people would have to things like Christian schools and uh, religious education, somehow or other, um, there is some goal, as I understand it, for the government to double philanthropy in Australia because maybe that's been lagging a little and there's also uh, some inconsistency because uh, haven't federal and state education ministers all signed off on the thought that yes we need to be supportive of what's happening in faith-based education. Definitely uh, through the Alice Springs uh, declaration uh, state and federal ministers have said that they will support uh, both state and uh, private schooling systems to be able to provide the resources they need. So state and federal government uh, provide funding uh, for private schools, parents do as well, the community uh, does as well through uh, DGR and building funds, all those come together. But uh, the Alice Spring Declaration makes it very clear that the governments come together to provide the resources that are needed, both in the public and uh, the private system. So we're keen to make sure that both systems are encouraged. We need both systems in Australia. Uh, about two thirds of students go to public schools, about a third go to private schools. We wanna make sure both systems thrive and that there's free choice uh, in Australia and that there's faith-based schools. And if parents wanna send their uh, children to uh, Christian schools, they have the opportunity to do that. If they wanna send them to public schools, they have the opportunity and both are funded and our young people are cared for and that we provide them a, a great future in Australia. Murray, for people who want to take action and they think maybe what will whatever I do, will it make any difference? But right now there's an opportunity for people to do something that can make a difference because uh, there's an opportunity for people to make some form of submission. Uh, you mentioned the mediaarts.org.au website. If listeners go to the CMA website, mediaarts.org.au, and they participate in this uh, how can that work? I'm going to see the education minister next week, uh, Jason Clare, and the minister responsible for ACNC, Andrew Lee. Um, I'll be telling both of them that we've been getting the word out across all the faith communities and that I talked to you, uh, Neil. We want people to go and just express where they're up to with their giving and what would encourage them to be able to increase their giving, uh, donations and also their volunteerism. We'd be really keen for people to write in and just talk about their experience of giving and how important it is to be able to get tax deductibility so that their dollar goes further and that they can get the most out of their giving that they give. So you can go in, you can write a few sentences. We'd like people to make it personal, their story about their giving and their generosity. And the minister uh, has provided this portal through uh, the Productivity Commission. Our voices are important please go to the section there where private individuals can make a submission. They want to hear from individuals. Let's make sure that our voice is heard because there's a whole lot of other people that are interested in other aspects of giving. And we want to make sure that people of faith, that Christians stand up and they say, look, I'm a Christian. I want to give my money, but I want to make sure that I can get a tax deduction for religious education in public schools. And I want to be able to um, in other circumstances, be able to help building funds in, in private schools so that we make sure that our schooling systems are looked after and our young people are blessed by having great schooling in Australia and our private uh, faith-based schools are looked after 
and religious education is taken care of in state schools. Well, removing that tax deductibility for Christian schools and religious education might be something that you'll feel passionate about. Uh, To be able to make that comment, you can find out how to at mediaarts.org.au. mediaarts.org.au. Murray Norman is the CEO of Better Balanced Futures. There's a Better Balanced Futures website too, betterbalancedfutures.org.au. Murray, thanks so much for an update today on 2020. Thanks very much, Neil, and please pray for us. Thank you. Thanks for taking time to listen to this audio on demand from Vision Christian Media. To find out more about us, go to vision.org.au.